Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going with my friend Aurora. We're going to Mobile, Alabama to a couple antique stores, which I'm very excited to. Last time I went to, um, it was, we're definitely going to the White House Antiques because there is some stained ironstone that I am heading after. <laughs> I saw it in a picture and I zoomed in. I'm like, yeah, that's mine. <laughs> So definitely, I'm excited for that. So let's go see what we can find. First stop, White House Antiques. I'm going to get that cookie jar. <laughs> I like the inside of that. That's kind of cool. I would have that displayed as open. I found some little prayer books. Look at that scale. That's only, wait a minute, that's only $32. Y'all know me and antique chandeliers. It's gorgeous. That piece is gorgeous. It's even got like the original um, lining. Oh. Your hubby might like some of that stuff. This giant cheese plate. Okay, here is the new piece.
guys do the old records. This is cute. Very primitive. It's almost got like a purple tint to it though. Mm -hmm. I love old boxes like that. That is heaven. Oh my gosh. Is there anything more in there like that? Isn't that gorgeous? I don't even know. Is there a mark on it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, what else is in here? Stairs. It's like a little seating area. Oh. Sorry for the lighting, guys. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm like holding on to it for dear life. <laughs> Screen door is really pretty. I miss my green screen door in Arkansas. And then when you find books, they're really pretty, but you see the price on them. 625 bucks. That means just walk away. Walk away real slow. <laughs>
this range. We are out in pick in heaven. Did you see that blue plate right there? Underneath that red one? Look at how steep that one is. You see it? Yeah. Did you want me to lift it? Hey guys, welcome back for the haul, you guys. So this is gonna be my Mobile, Alabama haul. Me and Aurora went and we went to first the White House Antiques and then we went to a couple other stores. One was Mary Parker's Antiques, which you guys, yeah, I found the most amazing piece that of my life there. So stay tuned for that one. I'm sure you guys have already seen it in the shop with me. But let's get through the haul because there's a lot to get, <laughs> there's a lot to get through. So from, let's see, from the White House Antiques, my first piece, which I found on Facebook, they posted was this gorgeous stained cookie jar. Like they took a picture of a china cabinet. I didn't care about the china cabinet. I cared about what was in it. <laughs> I saw that and I'm like, yep, that's mine. I'm coming for that. Look at it. Cause I have a McCoy. If you guys remember, I had a McCoy cookie pitcher right here with the um, pompous grass coming out of it. So this will be on my next live sale. You guys. I don't know if by the time you guys see this, it'll be, so my next live sale, if it's gonna be passed, cause I post every Monday, but it's gonna be on March 9th. So, oh no, not this one. I'm trying to stick with my, the White House. So the next White House items that I got were these two little prayer books. This one's from the 1800s, this one's from 19 something. But two little, little prayer books. I got this gorgeous old Bible. Look at that. I love the distressing on it. That gorgeous old leather. Just amazing. And I don't even know. Someone wrote it's from 1957. Copyright 1929. But it does have like a little writing in it. It's used and loved, you guys. Oh, just amazing. The next item I got was this little cute brush, little barber's brush. Okay, this next, these next two items were together. Y'all know I like the antique browns, but look at this. This is what I. It was a set of two, so I had to get this one. I fell in love. Look at the colors on that. I love the browns and woods and white tones, but that is just gorgeous. They're like antique softball, and then it comes with the antique baseball. So I'm gonna be keeping this one, but I'm gonna be selling this one. So this one will be in my uh, next, sale and then you guys i've never i've seen these on live sales and on etsy but i've never seen one in with you know oh my gosh in person you guys they had this listed as a baseball bat this is not a baseball bat do you guys know what this is? This is one of those juggled things. <laughs> and these go for so much. I always love wooden, you know, the browns in my house. So I will be keeping this one. But these are like a hundred to two hundred dollars a piece. They had it listed as a baseball bat. <gasps> oh my goodness. But isn't it gorgeous? That wood tone. Oh. So it was right by the baseball of the baseballs, but it's not a baseball bat. 
Okay, so that was, oh no, I have this one left. So Aurora found these and they're little bitty p um, clock um, pieces to fix little clocks, but I thought that well, those would be a cute little bowl filler. A little bitty glass with little bitty stoppers. Let me see if I can take one out and show you guys. Oh my gosh, look at these. Wouldn't that be cute in like little bitty bowls? So these will be for sale. I just thought those would be oh, the most cutest thing. So there's that. Okay, and I think that is it for my, the White House. Okay, so for the next sale, what was it? I'll do, okay. I'll do, I forget the store that we went to, but it was like a hole in the wall right next to Mary Parker's Antiques. Um, it's got like tarp covered out back. I mean, we were like freezing. It was in the rain. Everything was covered in water, which that's like the best place to go, you guys, because everything is sitting in water and getting all crusty and amazing. <laughs> so my first item I picked up from his store was this cute little framed artwork from Italy that will be for sale. My next item is this gorgeous little brush. So I got two little brushes today, little barber brush. And then, so I don't know if you guys know, I love penguins. Someday, we lived in Alaska and I wanted to adopt a penguin and live with me forever. Mr. Waddles, I have a penguin in my Betty, my car that stays with me because my husband bought it from me when we were dating at the zoo, St. Louis Zoo. But I found these little penguins and I've never seen these before. Oops, see if I drop them. But look at them. It's three little penguins. I gotta get this marking off. They have a little hole. I don't know what they're used for. So if you guys know, if you've seen these before, comment down below and let me know if you guys know what these are. This one's the only one that has two eyeballs. <laughs> there was three left and I got them all, three. But I will be keeping these. Okay, and my next, let me see, I think these are, okay, so my next find, these were at another antique store, which I, I think it's Empor Emporium Antiques. I got a stack of butter pats, which these are the China pats, which I'm gonna try, they have a lot of crazing on them. So I'm going to try to stain these more with the gold rim. There's no flowers or anything on them. So these are gonna be gorgeous when they turn out. My next item is this beautiful old clock. I thought I had a gorgeous face on it. Look at the patina on it. gorgeous okay my next item this is heavy you guys is a beautiful piece of architectural now this thing <laughs> I'm debating on keeping or putting it in my sale but I can just see this on the wall but y'all I just kind of like hammer into the wall. And if God forbid this falls, I mean, this would hurt someone. <laughs> so I don't know if I trust myself putting this on my wall. So it might be going in a sale, it might stay. I don't know, but it's too gorgeous. I do not know, and it is heavy, heavy. But we'll see. It might be in the sale, it might not. We'll, be all, we'll both be all surprised, right? My next item, you guys. Now we're getting to Mary Parker's Antiques, okay? This place, go follow me on Instagram because I posted stories of us walking through. It's just literally filled. It's a little bit dim lighting, but that's okay. That's where all the hidden gems are hiding. Look at this teapot. I mean, you can tell it hasn't been moved in years 
touched in years. Like, amazing. Look at the inside. Okay, so don't pay attention when I turn it around, okay? Because it does have these two little girls on there, but that's okay because you can use this side for spring decor, right? And then when spring is over, or if you don't like, thing, like things on stained pieces like me, what do I do is I use the other side. All you gotta do is flip it around and you see this gorgeous plain stained side. You guys, amazing. Um, it's, I want to keep it. I want to keep every piece basically, but I'm bringing you guys amazing stained pieces. I'm doing it. I'm not keeping it. <laughs> My next item is this gorgeous. So the last time I found one of these was in Arkansas and it sold within me doing a video. That's how fast. So these are just amazing pieces. This is a strainer for a teapot. Look at the staining on it. Here is the lid. Look at the staining. Just a gorgeous piece to display. Look at that. And there's the inside. So that would just be part of your little display. You can even put little flowers in it and then had it just like this, just standing right next to it or in front of it to display or like that. Oh, kind of how I have my um, slot pot with the lid displayed with my flowers in it, like on the side. Can't you guys see it? Oh, things that pop into my head when I see pieces. Okay. Are you ready for it? This next piece is probably the most stained piece I have ever found. You guys. You ready? Can you believe that? I'm trying to go slow. So you guys can get all that beautiful staining and crazing. And then on the inside, the guy that at the register, he was a young guy and he was taken over for, I guess his grandma that's gonna be retiring from Mary's Parker's. He's like, I think that's part of the, there's an antique, um, it's called brownware, I think, maybe. You know, the, the brown painted pa uh, pots and stuff. He's like, we have more back there. I'm like, oh no, that's not supposed to be brown like that. That used to be white. <laughs> so, like, that's how brown stained it is, you guys. Look at that. It was just sitting in some white pots like that. And you guys, you've seen it already when I found it, but look. I mean, that's just the most stained ever. I, I, I just can't believe it. And it's, it's pretty big. So I'm trying and debating on if I'm going to keep it. You guys let me down below, let me know down below if I should keep it because I'll probably never find anything like that. You guys, I... Well, a friend of mine that owns an estate sale business back home in St. Louis, when I told her about the stained items and stuff, St. Ironstone, she was like, oh my gosh, I used to find those all the time, but we would always just throw them out because they were damaged, we thought. And I'm like, oh my gosh, can you imagine how many pieces people have thrown out just because they look like this? Oh, it breaks my heart. But that is my haul you guys, this one was really, I've been having the time of my life <laughs> with my new friend, Aurora. We've been having so much fun finding so many goodies to share with you guys. I'm looking forward to our next 
live sales. So stay tuned for that. Um, let me know, comment down below if there's any places that we should go to before. We have, I have about a month with her, so, and then I'm leaving in beginning of May, so time's a wasting and I wanna, it's almost like I gotta get to everywhere I go before, <laughs> before we move. So I hope you guys um, love this haul. Please comment down below and let me know what was your favorite find. And again, thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a good one. Bye.